This is Nathan, and I'm at the Midwest Regional here with Team 63 McDowell Robotics. I'm here with Mitchell, Caleb, and Cooper, and they're going to tell us about their robot today. Hey, fun fans. Before we get to this video, I want to give a big shout out to all of you who have been spreading the word of fun to help us stay loud, light, and independent through your donations, bits, and subscriptions, and also to the sponsors of this segment, PTC. PTC currently has the Robots to the Rescue Challenge going on where you can earn a share of $7,000 for your team by designing a robot that helps solve a current world problem at onshape.com forward slash robots to the rescue. Can you start us off telling us about your Mechanum wheels? Yeah, so we have, uh, we have these, these Mechanum wheels that help us with the intake. Uh, so basically the design is that you can have a ball off to the side and it'll, it'll rub against this bumper and, and we'll get sucked in towards the center. Uh, and we've seen a lot of robots like that, uh, where they kind of have these mechanic wheels, and they and they seem to be working pretty well for us. Um, yeah, so they uh, basically they suck them towards the center. Uh, we can't really see it uh, suck them towards the center because we're not on the ground right now, but um, for the most part, they've been working pretty well for us. It seems to be quite an, uh, an effective manipulator. So, can you tell us about your climbing mechanism? Yeah, so we were fortunate enough at uh, McDowell High School to have a lot of CNC machines where we could uh, manufacture some of our own pieces to help us out with that new uh, climbing switch that we had to uh, scale this year. Um, so basically our climb is Cascade. It folds down on top of this chute here where we collect the power cells. Um, with a pneumatic cylinder it initiates. Uh, we launch up and then we initiate another cylinder that sets the hook on, on, up on top of that switch and then we retract it, hook pops off with some spaghetti and hot glue that we put inside there. So, and it, it's flawless. And uh, the hook pops off, we retract the cylinder, and then we start backing up this winch and we come up in about five to six seconds. Let's give an example right now. Yeah, Let's go give ahead. an example right now. Yeah. So this is what our mechanism is. We're gonna do that, and then we extend the hook right there. Yep. And then we, if the, um, the if the, teeter-totter ever has um, enough high position, we actually have another second stage lift where I'll show you right now. We can get higher right there. Yeah. The straps are a little tight right now. The straps that are holding the robot on are not off, so you can't... Yep. Yeah, so that lift will get, that lift will get us up to that top bar if, if need be, if we're not the first robot on the switch. But it's been pretty, it's been pretty consistent. Well, Thank you very much, guys. Do you have anything left to say about your robot? Um, nope. Uh, we're big spaghetti fans, big pasta fans, and that's why we incorporated this design into our robot this year. And go spaghetti. This video is brought to you in part by PTC. Look, during this time, it's important to look for challenges to keep your skills up and to help your team in fun development. The Robots to the Rescue Challenge can help you accomplish both by designing a robot that solves a real-world problem with a chance to win a share of over $7,000 for your team. Click the link in the description to get started at onshape.com forward slash robots to the rescue. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. Thanks to all of our co-executive producers on Patreon and tier two plus subscribers on Twitch, keeping fun loud, live, and independent.